Hello there! Welcome to this next installment of Fulton County Library System's Book Stream for Tweens. My name is Abby. I am the Youth Services Librarian at the Buckhead Branch. Today we are still talking about The School for Good and Evil by Saman Shinani, the first book of six in the series. We've already read an excerpt together and discussed uh, Mr. Shinani's background and his love for fairy tales. So that means that today is, drumroll, Fan Art Friday! Yay, yay, yay! But before I show you the art that we received, I wanted to draw your attention to the cover. There is a lot going on. You see the schools in the background, there's a bridge, there are those swans. So you can see that before you even open the book, you can tell that it is a very visual story and there's a lot to be inspired by. Um, I didn't tell you this before, but there are even some illustrations throughout the book that were made by, I believe, Iacopo Bruno. So let's take a look at some of them. Here's kind of a really creepy gargoyle, or let's see, here's a cute little Cupid, even though he doesn't look so happy, does he? <laughs> But now, enough of that, I would like to move on to some of the original artwork we have. So, our first piece, we have a digital drawing from Miss Leanne from the Milton branch. Let's take a look. You may recognize the person in the picture as the one and only Mr. Shinani, the very talented author of the series. So great job, Ms. Leanne, at capturing his wonderful smile. Now the next piece is by yours truly. That is also a digital piece. I don't fancy myself much of an artist, but this book really inspired me. So here it is. The book itself is largely about opposites and breaking down binaries, which is why I included a quote by my favorite character, Agatha, it's not what you are, it's what you do. So that's what I was inspired by. Now last, but certainly not least, is a beautiful drawing done by the extraordinarily talented Nicholas Goodley, who works here with me at the Buckhead branch. Let's take a look. Isn't that wonderful? He was clearly inspired by the cover and those very interesting swans. I don't want to spoil anything, but as you continue to read the series, make sure you look at the swans on each of the book's covers. They change depending on the book, and I think they give you a little idea of what the conflict will be. Um, but all right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed some of the wonderful fan art we received. This might be the last day of summer reading. Sad, I know. But the good news is that we are not going anywhere and we'll definitely be continuing this program each week. So make sure you like and subscribe and keep tuning in to our book stream for tweens. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.